Hey, how's it going everybody? Nerdman here. Just want to make a quick video talking about the economics of my grid tied solar panel system and how I plan to get 20 years worth of free electricity. Uh, this shows, this spreadsheet here is uh, tracking my energy use from 2016 up until today. Uh, the first few years I didn't have any solar. Uh, I installed this system at the very end of 2019. Um, so you can see my usage was about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars per year before solar and then two hundred, two seventy, one eighty three total for the year after solar. So I was saving you know about twelve hundred dollars a year. Um, and so I'll show you how much I paid for the system. Uh, I installed it myself. I was able to save a lot of money doing that. It's a 3.8 kilowatt system. I bought the kit from Wholesale Solar. $6,227 delivered. That included the solar panels, end phase micro inverters, the racking, a bunch of little clips and things. Uh, it even That even included a uh, end phase envoy like the system for connecting it to the uh, internet so you can manage the the usage with an app um, and there were you know of course 20 trips to home depot for various little conduit and wiring and much other stuff uh, i bought some other you know disconnect other things online i bought consumption transformers those are actually made by by end phase that connect right into the uh, combiner box and you can clamp them around the the conductors and track your your energy usage so it's funny but you can compare usage to uh, power generation with those um, five hundred ten dollars for the permit some money for some labels various other flashings i ended up switching from the envoy i bought a box for the envoy which i returned i bought the envoy for five hundred dollars i returned that and i bought the combiner and I got that off eBay for $4.97, which was a pretty good price. Um, but the problem with that was I had to actually change my permit. I had to revise the permit. They're very picky on every component of the system matching what you're actually installing. So that was $170 bucks just to modify the permit. Uh, a few other things. I ended up having to revi revise the permit one more time. It might have just been the way I was routing the wiring. Another $155, but the total came out to be $8,000, just about. Back then, there was still a 30% rebate on your federal taxes, so the effective cost was $5,566. And if I estimate $1,200 a year in savings, I'll pay back that investment in less than five years. And these systems, the, the solar panels, they're rated after 25 years to still produce 80% of their original power. Um, so if I look at solar generation, kind of here's here's a summary. You know, I'm three years into that five-year payback. And after that, all this energy for the next 20 years is free to me. Um, and I have the, the, uh, the manufacturer of the panels claims that the panels degrade at 0.7% per year. So that after 25 years they'll produce 80 percent of their rated power so i just put it i just degraded this number from 2022 where i generated 7.5 megawatt hours over the entire year and i degrade it per year by 0.7 percent so you know in 2045 i should be able to still produce about six megawatt hours um so that's a pretty awesome way to get yourself 137 free megawatt hours of electricity. So hopefully this was helpful to you. To, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want more of this type of video, please subscribe. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.